Well, that was an encouragement. We have, I've had a, a couple of people just come up to me then who were Christians and a few, few people, and uh, they, they were really appreciative of uh, me preaching in Cheetah Mill. Cheetah Mill is a very, very tough area, so, so God is good. Uh, so that was an encouragement. So, um, just gonna. So here we are folks, what a day. Calm down a bit, it's not gonna rain a little bit. It will rain later on. That's bare. That's bare. Every knee shall bow, every tongue that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord. He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead. And he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's Lord, my friends. Well, God is a God who keeps His promise. And God in the Bible gave, in Genesis chapter 15, He gave a promise. He promised Abraham that he would have a people more than the stars in the sky. God gave a promise. He gave a promise to Abraham that there would be a Messiah. He gave a promise to Jacob that he would be blessed. That there would be a Messiah. He gave a promise to Solomon, to King David, that there would be a Messiah. And in Psalm 22, he says, They pierced my hands and my feet. In Psalm 22, it says, They pierced my hands and my feet. They pierced my hands and my feet. That is a prophecy. It's a prophecy. A prophecy that was a thousand year prophecy. In Psalm 22, we have a thousand year prophecy. They pierced my hands and my feet. And it was prophesied that the Messiah will come and be a saviour. 
It was prophesied that the Messiah would be a savior, my friend. It was prophesied a thousand years before Jesus existed. It was prophesied they would die. I says to God bless you. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Can I give you a step of Patricia? You're born again? Yeah. I'll give you. Sorry about this. Have you got some tracks? I'm going to give you some. That's a, a, an old thing about holiness. Oh. So it's very classic. That's about the Bible. Oh. You know, telling you that the, it's the Word of God. You know what's uh, interesting is you say about holiness. You can I have them. That. You can have them. Because without holiness, no I can see God. I'm and just... You, you read it before you give it out so you I'll check it's good, but it's a classic. It's a oh, classic. Just, yeah. So it's for Christians yeah. to encourage them to grow in the Lord. Mm. And if you write to these people, yeah. they will send you free literature. Yeah? So there's the tracks, you can have that. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing a great job. God bless, God bless you, Patricia. God, God bless, bless you, sister. God I hope we'll see you there over there Amen. when the trumpet well, sound. Here, yeah, but most Saturdays we're in Cheetah, uh, we're in Manchester, yeah. uh, preaching the gospel there. In the centre, city centre. Yeah, yeah, near Piccadilly, up at the guy. You know, Brother Matthew. Brother Matthew. Yeah. I, I, I probably recognise. You do, you do that too in the Piccadilly. Well, we're down there. If you ever want to come and join us, sister. What the, what days? Uh, on a Saturday mainly. On a Saturday. Every, every Saturday. I, I, I tell you what I do. Can you give me your number, please? Because I'm an evangelist too, so. You're an evangelist. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> well, if you ever want to work together here. Yeah. I need, you know. Just I'm here, need to know Christ. Amen. Amen. I need Amen. to know Christ. You could just, could you just write it down? Yeah. Does it, does it? Oh. If you write Jason Burns. Sorry? If, you, if you write Jason Burns. Jason yes. Burns, Jason, yes. B Burns, B U R N S, Burns, Burns, yeah, as in Burns, Preacher. dot mm. com. That's my website, Don't so you can keep in touch there. Mm. And I don't, I don't build a church. I'm, I work with churches and help churches, you know. So my mm. website is just so people can know what I do. So Jesse Burns, Preacher. dot com. But yeah. I give you my your number, please. My number, yeah. Good to see you, yeah. sister. It's 07 07 399 So if you want to come out, just let me know. We can meet up here, do some together or something. Oh, I love you know, and bring try and get a few others to come out. It's Pastor Clement, his church down there, and we could try and get others as well. Yeah. Or if not, we could just go out together, just stand here and give out this book. So you tell me you tell me your program, so and I'll, I'll give you a ring. Just, you tell me when you're free, and, yeah. I, and I'll try and match you, because mine's just flexible every day. I don't plan it every day, I just take Yeah, because you need someone to help you, like sharing tracks. Yes, You're yes. doing the, the, yes. the, the talking, then I'll be sharing the tracks. Okay. That's what we need to do. Okay. Oh, God, God bless, bless you. you God bless you, God sister. God bless you. Have a nice day. Okay. Well, do you need anything else? Um, let's see what else. There we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, brother. All right. God bless you, sister. You too, okay. So anytime you want to come out, just let me know, and I'll, I'll give you some support. We can do some here. Right. Or if your church, we can get a few people out. Yeah, my church. We do do. We, Where, uh, we go around. Where, where's your church? Deeper Light Bible Study. Where's that? It's in Moscow. Oh, it's in Moscow. It's a Bible living church. Preach holiness and righteousness. Oh, okay. That's oh, what we I, preach. Do you know Brother Jonathan? A mm. young man? Yeah, always in Piccadilly. Yes. yes. He's in my church. Ah, yeah, he's a friend of mine. Yeah. You see these He's the son of a pastor. His, his dad is a pastor. Is it? You see these tracks? Yeah. I give your church oh, about no. 20 boxes. Understand. I give your, we do use this one on every Yeah, day. I give your church 20 boxes. They, mm. they sent me 40 boxes from America. Yeah. And I give your church 20 boxes. Okay, that's right. We do use it for evangelism. We evangelize all over. Yes, yes. Every oh. every two weeks or every so two weeks. Do you live in this area, Patricia? No, I live in Moscow down. Oh, Moscow down there. Okay. I think one day we will go over there. We need to preach to. <laughs> we go over there. I'll give you a ring. Okay. Because this is the time that we need to tell people we need about to begin, Christ. Yeah. Because Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Amen. We need Amen. the time. We need them to Amen. heard about Christ, you know? Amen. And it's a real hell. And we don't want people to go to hell. So we really yeah, yeah. All we need these days is to pray for them. And we that are doing the job, pray for the Holy Spirit. The empowerment of the power of the Holy Spirit. And 
enable us to empower us. You know? Amen. Give us the boldness. Amen. Amen. The boldness to <laughs> preach because sometimes if you are afraid, you know, you don't know what you have, but you need the boldness, the power of the Holy Spirit to come upon us. So that Amen. Amen. So when the power is upon you, you can't resist it, you know. Amen. You just go Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. God bless you. Hundred uh, percent. Amen. <laughs> Paul says we come not in we come in the spirit for mm. demonstration of the power yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. So Amen. that's why we need Jesus have left the power for the Holy Spirit Amen. for us. Amen. And we need to pray over it to come upon us, you know, so that Amen. we can go. You know, I was I was listening to a lecture on the history of preaching. Yeah. And it was saying that in, in the past when pre when things die down it's because the preachers fear men rather than fear God. They, they they water down everything, mm. you know, and we, we need to preach Jesus and not fear men, mm. but fear God and, and be bold. Yeah. Preach the word, preach it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And, and you know, if you want to do stuff. Yeah, but before we move, we need to pray for the land. Amen. You know, because the Bible says that, that the, the harvest is white and the labor of the few. You know, we need to pray for God to harvest souls, you know, touch them, the area. Amen. Amen. We need to be led by the Spirit. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you live by the Spirit and you go and you say the word, God Himself and the Holy Spirit, Jesus, we go and bring men. Amen. And Amen. Touch them, you know. Well, and when the word go forth, we too. Well, if, if you let me know when you pray, we can pray beforehand yeah. and walk to the ground before we go. Eh? Yeah. Find it before we get there. Yeah, destroy every powers of darkness <laughs> Amen. that are holding men, you know? There are powers, Amen. principalities that holding men not to come to the knowledge of God. Amen. Amen. We need, to, we need them to come to the knowledge of God. To know who God is. Amen. Amen. And keep it touch for you, yeah? Alright, Lord. Good. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. God bless Have you, a nice sister. Day. You too, sister. God, God bless you. you. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, is Lord, is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he's Lord folks, he's Lord, as I was saying, God keeps his promise, and God promised in the Old Testament that the Messiah would come. And in Psalm 22, it talks about, They pierced my hands and my feet. And there was a prophecy. And in that prophecy, it prophesied that the Messiah would come. And God keeps his promises. You see, history is not a history of chance. You believe that we've evolved from apes? You believe in chance. You believe that we came from apes by chance. And I can tell you right now, that chance produces nothing. Chance cannot produce this world. Chance cannot produce evolution. Chance produces zero. If you believe in evolution, you believe in chance. Now you might be a person who tries to be a bit clever and says, oh no, there are variables. We have mathematical ways of dealing with this, Jay. We can show you that if you just throw the dice, it will hit certain things and it will come to certain numbers on a regular basis by chance. Well, all I have to say to you is this. When you throw a dice, somebody's throwing that dice, so it's not pure chance, all right? It's not pure chance. 
Chance cannot produce this world. Chance not, cannot produce evolution. Chance cannot produce anything. It is God that produced this world. It is God that made this world. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Are, are you Christian? Yes? God bless you. A a amen, amen. Do you go to a church right here? Yes, yes. Oh, amen, amen. God bless you, sister. God bless you more, more. God bless you. Oh, God bless you, God bless you. Is your church nearby? Yeah, in Chapel. Okay, okay. Well, it's lovely to meet you, sister. Yeah, we are... Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Can, can you read? Can you read? Yes. Yes. I'll give you something. Um. There you are. You can have them, sister. That's a gospel. You you know that. Yeah. That's about the Bible. What the Bible is the word of God, and that is a very old leaflet printed today. But it's about holiness, living a holy life. It's very classic, good, good booklet. Very classic. Okay. Do you have another one? Are you okay? Like tracks? No. I've got some. Um, Oh, that's this, very. Uh, this may work every Saturday. Oh <laughs> yes, I get these sometimes. Shopping center. Oh right. Did yeah. you come there? I come sometimes. Yeah. Can I? Can I give you my details? Can I write my details on on one of them? Yeah. Okay. If you hold that, I give you my uh, mobile number, and you can keep in contact. Yeah. Okay. I should. I, I, people keep asking me. Hey brother. <laughs> nice you you have a lot of brethren uh, stop. Are you a Christian? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You live local? Uh, sorry. You live local here? Yeah, I live in there. Oh. That's why I listen okay. to you, Michael. I came to okay, say yeah. God bless you it's, more. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah. yeah. We have this country is almost dead. So yeah. it's, it's all very busy. Been taken over. But we have to we have to fight. Yes. Yeah, this is what will bring the uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So sister, I put my mobile there for you. Yeah. And I put my home number for you. Okay. And then I put my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. Okay. And you can email me from there. Okay. So There we are. So I put put that in there so it doesn't thing for you. Okay. There we are. Yes, yes brother. Um, I just went there to buy this. I'm going back now. I will ring you and check your schedule because I I'm off work today. Yes, so yes. I'll be back very soon. I don't know. I will check your schedule when you want to go out and pray. I'll, I like, I mean, I think I will, I'm looking for somebody I will need to. Amen. Okay. So okay. I'll, I'll ring you. And, you. and you give me a ring, I, I, we can, I can help you too if you want. Any help doing leafleting? Okay. Because okay. I've just met Reginald today, okay. so I'm going to help him. God bless you. And God bless you My too. name is Jordanus. Pardon? Jordanus. 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 Yeah, Jordanus. Okay. Oh. Yeah, There's a lot of persecution, a lot of persecution. The Christians are persecuted in Eritrea. You know, they yeah. are pressing them, yeah. put them in. Yeah. In a something like uh, it's not allowed Pentecostal uh, Yeah, it's uh, no. it's, uh, no. it's allowed Catholic. Yeah. It allows Catholic. 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 Yeah. Uh, 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 Adlican. Yeah, Adlican. Yes. But, uh, yes. but the true Christians, uh, but they put them in. Uh, you know, something like this. Uh, yes. A kind of a. Um, it's a metal thing. Yes. Built yes. in form of very decent. You put it on a hot sun and put Christians there, some of them die. Either of cold or dry heat in a region. We have uh, this release international, you know, the release international, they help to support uh, yes. uh, Christians.
who are suffering persecution. And this thing is coming here in the West. Yeah. Because yeah. the Church of England, and there is an online petition that we are signing, he wants to impose uh, both transgender yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what we call a uh, trans, I mean, uh, uh, you know, any kind of phobic of anything. Yeah, that yeah. is what they want to very this. So there is an online petition already where people are, are uh, signing and which so, uh, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Imagine it, the Archbishop of uh, of of uh, of the Church of England. Yeah, it's uh, the demand is an antichrist. Yeah, well, you know, in the 1990s, the Church of England they made a statement saying that there is no such thing as hell. Unbelievable. Yeah, so they, 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 why, they, they're just what, going all over. Why, why, why is a Christian, if you're a Christian, you walk out of the place, you are not. You need some water, I bring some water. Um, are, you, are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Put this oh, thank you very much. Uh, water or? Uh, uh, Diet Coke, is that okay? Coke? Diet Coke, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Amen. God is taking care of, you know, take care of servant anyway. <laughs> it's good to see you, bro. It's good to see I, you. I mean, I, seriously, in fact, I went out because uh, I've been praying and asking the Lord, you know, I go and put our literature, you know, and uh, try to speak to some people, yeah. um, but they are not interested. Even uh, I went to the, the site I went to today is uh, specifically the school of God directed to certain Jewish shop. Yeah. I have a track, the delegate, I mean, specifically, it's like this. If you read it, if you know it's uh, it's targeting the Jewish, uh, the empty tool, this one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether you've seen this one. Oh, great. It's yeah, a, it's a very, great. See that? That's great. It's a very powerful. Chick, chick. Chick. It's a very powerful, very decent. So I went into a Jewish shop, I, 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 I pretended I wanted, I wanted to do some shop, buy, buy some stuff. Yeah. So, but <laughs> after we're buying, then you need to talk. About <laughs> Yeshua, and uh, you know, hey, but, and uh, some of the there was a one I went. Uh, they said they cannot. I said I came to buy things. Uh, are you going to drive your customer away? It's an indirect way of going to preach to them. Hey, but, because hey, if but. you if I go in there, they will just drive me. And I mean, I've already done just You can see it in my basket. Then I wanted to give. Said, no, no, you cannot give this to church here. You cannot accept this situation. I said, okay, fine. Well, uh, I love you, uh, Yeshua, your Jesus is my Hashem, he is, he is God Almighty, but I know you don't accept that. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. So unfortunately, the one guy came and uh, I think he's a security leader, he said, what are you? I said, I'm here to buy things, but am I not going to talk to people about uh, Yeshua? He said, can I look at, look at it? Then he put it in his pocket and said, you go and read it. Maybe the law will arrest me. <laughs> so this is what I have very this but I I mean how can we live in this country and we cannot be able to talk about Jesus? I, I know mean, it's crazy. And God is using this thing, including persecution that's coming, to bring out the true Christians Amen. who will come out when they very decent. Amen. Because the, the, the pretenders who want to hide. I just, I, I, yeah, just can, I think you can pack. You, you want, you, you want to open the pack up. It's okay. I'm packing. It's, it's, it's going to rain. Here. I know. I know. I know. I think um, I'm going to go into Costa Coffee and okay, have, a, have a good day. I'll just wait for this lady. Okay. Reginald, it's great to I, see I, you, brother. I, I will. I mean, I, I when I get, I mean, towards the end, I mean, uh, I will bring you around eight o'clock. I will okay. bring you around eight tonight. Just expect my call tonight. Okay. All right. So God All right. God bless, you. God, God bless you. God bless you. Take care, Reginald. Yeah, God you. bless you, bro. Hey, it's good to be with you, folks. It's beginning to. As I was saying, God keeps His promise. He kept His promise, and the Messiah came, and the Messiah died. And if you want salvation today, know that Jesus gave his life for you. Know that Jesus gave his life. He gave his life that you may have life. He gave his life that you may be saved today. He gave his life that you may be born again. He gave his life for you today. 
So if you want to have life, Jesus says, He comes to give you life abundantly. It's abundant life. Abundant joy, abundant peace, abundant goodness. For in Him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Him is the blood of Jesus can save you today. The blood of Jesus can save you. God bless you, bro. The blood of Jesus can save you today. The blood can set you free. The blood can give you a hope. The blood can give you a future. The blood can bless you. The blood of Jesus is the blood of the Messiah. The blood of Jesus is the blood of the Savior. God bless you, sister. You're so kind. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you okay, keep in touch, yeah? Okay. God bless you. Bye. God bless you, sister. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, somebody's just brought me some, uh, some drinks there, so I'll pass it by. So the Savior is a Savior. Come to save you today. He's the Messiah. All the types, all the prophecies are fulfilled in Him. Hey, bro. God bless you, bro. <laughs> all the types, all the blessings are in Christ. All the blessings are in Him. He is the Messiah. The promised Messiah who was promised to come and to save us. And He came to save us today. He came to save us today. He came to set us free today. The promised Messiah. Oh, He's the Messiah. The Messiah has come. The Messiah has come. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior, who come for us. And He's the one that we are to trust. He's the one that we're to have faith in. The Messiah, Jesus Christ. So have faith in the Messiah today. And know that the Messiah will save you if you believe in Him. And trust in Him. Know that He will set you free. Know that you will have peace in Him. Know that you will have hope in Him. In the Messiah who fulfilled all the prophecies. He fulfilled all the prophecies, my friend. Every single prophecy, He fulfilled it. It was prophesied He'd be betrayed by 30 pieces of silver. He was betrayed, betrayed by 30 pieces of silver. It was prophesied that He was born of a virgin. And He was born of a virgin. It was prophesied that He was born in Bethlehem. And he was born in Bethlehem. It was prophesied. And it came true. And it says in the word of God. That he's coming back. That Christ is coming back. The end of the world is coming. The end of the world is here soon. Every man and woman. You need to know. That the world is shaking. The world is ending. And it will end one day. And when it ends. Are you ready for when that day ends? Are you ready? For when the Messiah comes, are you ready for that day? The day when the Messiah comes, the day when He arrives to take His people to be with Him, are you ready for that day? Do you know Him? Do you know Him as your Lord and Savior today? Do you know Him as He who shed His blood for you? He is the Messiah who wants to bless you today. He is the Messiah who wants to bring salvation to you today he fulfills all the types in the old testament he fulfills all the prophecies in the old testament he's not a liar he has told no lies he has only told the truth he's only told the truth he said that the temple would be destroyed and in 70 a.d the temple was destroyed jesus tells you the truth he tells you no lies he tells you the truth he is the Messiah, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the one that we're to believe in. He is the one that we're to trust. Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior. And if you want salvation, and if you want to know how to get to heaven, you have to believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God bless you, man. God bless you, bro. God bless you, man. You have to believe in Jesus as your Savior. You have to believe in Him as your Savior and as your Lord. God bless you. Well folks, uh, I'm just coming to the end now. Um, I'm going to preach a bit more in a minute. But the camera's uh, running down. So I just want to share thing, things, a few things. I came out today. It's not very good weather. It's about to rain. People have been beeping the horn when I've been preaching. So they, they appreciate it. People have been thanking me as I've been preaching. So. People have been quite appreciative, really. 
Um, Cheetah Mill is a very, 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 very tough area. It's very, very tough. It's a strong uh, Islamic area. There are uh, mosques around here. And it's very, very tough. But God has been with me today. You can see how many people of Christians who've been encouraged today, people who are Christians have come up to me and uh, they thank me for preaching and, and it stirred them to evangelize. And I've found that over the years that when I've been out, it kind of does stir people to, to get out and evangelize. So, so the devil has tried everything he can recently to keep me down, giving me depression before I go out to preach. And, uh, and I've come out today, I've forced myself to come out today. And it's been really encouraging because people, the Christians who were in Cheetah Mill, have been encouraged, so that's been good. So I'm really pleased. Um, I'm really encouraged that Christians have been encouraged. And on top of that, the gospel has been proclaimed in Cheetah Mill today, very loud and very boldly, and uh, it's going to continue until until I uh, get a bit tired. So, you know, i just got to keep going and keep proclaiming the truth. And people have been encouraged today. So we just pray that souls will get saved and people will come to know the Lord. There have been people that have walked past on the other side and have been listening and there have been people you haven't couldn't see on the camera but there have been people who have been listening. So there we are. So the encouragement is go out, keep going out, keep preaching the gospel, keep serving the Lord because the Lord will bless you as you do that. He, he will be with you as you serve Him. He will be on your side. And I've been out today and, and God's provided me with some drink. Yes? Hey, Rich. You alright? The Lord would start to give you some money to take the coffee when you finish. Oh, thank you so much. So, thank you very much. Oh, thank then you. I, he says, go and give that young man. Let him take something when he's ready to bury this. Oh, well. thank you so, so much. Okay, I'll give you a ring by 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, okay. thank okay. you, brother. Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you. God bless you, bro. So somebody, somebody's just given me uh, some money to get a drink, a uh, hot drink as well. So, you know, God's good. So God's shown me today that he's with me and I'm doing the right thing. Whatever people might criticize or whatever people might say, you've seen today people come up to encourage me, people come up to support me, uh, and God's clearly shown today that he is with me, that I'm doing the right thing. So, uh, praise God. So, I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'm going to preach uh, without without the camera on, okay? So, God bless you, and keep praying, and those who don't know the Lord, the reason why I'm doing this, if you don't, don't know Jesus, the reason why I'm doing it is I really believe in a true hell, and I believe that if you don't know Jesus, that's where you're going to go, and so I'm here to tell you that Jesus has paid the price for you. So don't mock, don't laugh, come and believe and trust Him, okay? I'm going to preach now. It's going to rain and it's time to get a drink. <laughs>